Hi there, welcome to Journey to Hydroponics. So I have a room at home whose window faces south and it does get afternoon sun. It's a very large window that's about six feet wide and its height reaches up to the ceiling. I always wondered if I could grow vine vegetables such as cucumbers and whether there is enough sunlight to grow them. But growing them indoors meant I did not have to worry about the rains, strong winds, typhoons, and even bugs. So let me share with you my journey of growing hydroponic cucumbers indoors. Sterilize the moist cocoa peat for 3 minutes in the microwave. Another way to sterilize cocoa peat is to pour boiling water onto it and wait for the water to cool down. Then, squeeze out the excess water. Fill your seedling container with the moist cocoa peat about 2 inches high and then spray it with treated water. Treated water for me is tap water which has been kept in an open container for at least a day to remove the chlorine through evaporation. After spraying the cocoa peat, get your cucumber seeds and distribute them. I'm planting about 4 seeds. Spray the seeds with your treated water. The next step is to cover the seeds with cocoa peat, about half an inch deep. Level the cocoa peat and spray it one last time with your treated water. I usually place a plastic cover on top of the cocoa peat to help retain its moisture. And I also place weights such as these mini sandbags so that the seeds are pressed onto the moist cocoa peat. Finally, I place the seedling container inside a box so that the seeds can germinate in darkness. My cucumber seeds began to sprout on the fourth day. Well, it probably began to sprout on the third day as you can see, but I forgot to check on them. Anyway, take out the plastic cover and expose the seedling container under LED lights. The lights I'm using are TA LED tube lights that are about 18 kilowatts. They are the daylight type that give out over 2,000 lumen and over 5,000 Kelvin. Bottom feed the seedlings with treated water, ensuring that the cocoa peat remains moist for the roots. On day 8, the third leaf began to appear and the seedling was outgrowing the container so I had to transplant each seedling to its own container. I'm using this 8 ounce plastic cup like a net cup that will hold the seedling. I place holes in the bottom and on the sides using a soldering iron. I will be recycling this 2 liter juice container as a temporary container to hold the nutrient solution. This is the blue line mark I made 
and ensures that the level of the nutrient solution will touch the cocoa peat to keep it moist for the roots. You will notice that the container is also wrapped with aluminum foil to prevent outside light from passing through and growing algae inside. The nutrient solution I'm using is a brand called Master Blend. This is the formula I used and I kept the pH level at 6.2. Check every two to three days for the development of the roots and for the level of the nutrient solution. When the roots are longer, then you can level the nutrient solution up to two inches below the cup. You need to make sure that one half of the cucumber roots have air while the bottom half is drinking the solution. On day 28, you can see that the roots are overgrowing this temporary container, so I have to replace it with a larger one. This is a 10 liter container that used to hold distilled water. I cut out the top using a cutter and scissor so that a soft garden pot like this can be used. I made a hole in the bottom. This is where I will place the 8 ounce seedling cup in the center and its roots will be positioned to fall down. To balance and to stabilize the cup, I will just fill the outer sides with coco peat. You will notice I use a marker to guide me to where the nutrient solution should be leveled. Then I wrap the container with aluminum foil. Fill the container with nutrient solution up to the mark, knowing that I've left an air gap for the top half of the roots. This is now the time to place the cucumber plants next to the window. As the cucumber vine gets longer, you will need to support it. So I used a plastic straw line to tie around the plant and secured it to the window handbars. In anticipation of growing cucumbers vertically, I also used twist ties or tie back strings and secured it from the window handbars up to the horizontal pole I placed under the ceiling. On day 42, flowers began to appear. Now, the flowers are male flowers at the start, and there are plenty of it. You can tell they are male flowers by the size of the stem, which are quite thin. The female flowers came about a week later, after the male flowers. You can now tell the difference between the female flowers and the male flowers because the female stems are thicker. So the variety of cucumbers I planted requires me to manually pollinate the female flowers. That's the drawback for indoor gardening. There are no bees to do the pollination for you. Of course, you can always plant the Parthenocarpic variety of cucumbers, which don't require pollination, but I couldn't find any in my area. Oh well. So every morning before I head to work, I look for female flowers that have opened up. Then I take a male flower and remove the petals to expose the base. This is the stamens that produce pollen, so I brush it onto the female flower like this.
the female flower will close in about two days and if pollinated successfully you will see a tiny cucumber growing in a few days. As you observe the baby cucumbers grow you may also need to prune. Let's take a look at the three major parts of the plant. For every node in the main vine there is the tendrils which I use to train to grab onto the tieback strings. Then there's the male or female flower followed by its sun leaf. The baby cucumber needs the sun leaf so don't cut it. Prune instead the sucker vines. You can tell the sucker vines they are the shoots that grow laterally off the main vine. When you prune, the energy of the plant will concentrate on the main vine to produce flowers and to grow the baby cucumbers. And don't forget to check the level of the nutrient solution. In my environment, I check every three or four days and refill when necessary. I love this wall of cucumber leaves and it's a joy to see the cucumber babies growing. I harvest the cucumbers when they reach 6 to 7 inches long. Cucumbers provide a lot of health benefits. So there you have it. Give cucumbers a try. And yes, you can certainly grow them indoors. Thank you for watching Journey to Hydroponics. Till our next video. Bye bye.